when you get to this stage of the season, when you get the, the finish line is so close, there's no excuses not to be fully prepared and, and, and excited and, and bring really good energy. Welcome back to MLR Mic Check. I'm Danny Wexelman here with New York's Andy Ellis. Andy, a big week for Rooney. Thanks for hopping on. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, no, it is, it is a big week. You know, we're coming to the end of the competition now and um, it's all pretty exciting, isn't it? It is so exciting. I'm so glad that the season has made it all the way through. And it's been crazy, honestly, watching every single week and seeing how close some of these matches have been and also how dominating some others have been as well. I think it's been entertaining to say the very least across the rugby landscape. And this weekend, you all take on New Orleans at home on your home turf. And there are playoff implications when it comes to this game. I want to talk about that in a second, but first I want to start with the fact that you all fell to New Orleans earlier in the season. You're a different team now. So what takeaways did you have from that match? We've got a lot of respect for um, uh, Nola. Uh, they're, they're, they're a quality side, you know, um, right across the field. They're a good, good set piece. Um, you know, they can score tries from everywhere. Um, probably back when, back then we um, we didn't have our balance quite right. You know, we, we were running everything and it was pretty hot down there. Um, so we learned some good lessons around that. Um, yes, yeah, so, so I think probably our balance um, will be a bit better against them this week. But um, yeah, like I say, with with it being such a big game and with them still being in contention for um, playoffs, um, they'll be coming um, pretty hungry and and excited to to go. So we've got to match that and do better. You took the words right out of my mouth. They absolutely will be hungry, as are you all as well. There's no doubt about that. It's a big weekend. New Orleans in New York, 2 p.m. Eastern this Saturday. And this is an opportunity for New York or New Orleans to solidify their spot in the Eastern Conference Finals. And both teams are going to be hungry. You all are so good. New Orleans has been so good this season as well. But why won't New Orleans be the ones heading to the Eastern Conference Finals? Yeah, well, just to, to your first sort of point, it, it is a really exciting competition. And I think it's um, it's awesome that, you know, almost every week you're not sure who's going to win because it is so even. Um, I think that's a really cool thing that the, the you know, uh, sort of has to offer. Um, yeah, with, with us, oh, look, mate, we, um, we, we're focusing on, on on our game and what, what we can control, trying to get it um, even better. We want to, you know, we want to put a bit of a focus of, of growing every week and, and, and getting better. Um, um, at all our stuff and so that, that's a continuation this weekend is focus um, very much on our game and, and get our things right um, and you know the rest will take care of itself we've got a, we've got a really special group of guys here and um, we really are on want to do something um, something special here as well so we just want to go out and we want to enjoy the week together we want to work hard and prepare well and um, like I said we've got a lot of respect for um for Nola, so we're going to have to be right on our game, but um, it's a really exciting challenge. And yeah, when, when you get to this stage of the season, when you get the, the finish line is so close, there's no excuses not to be fully prepared and, and, and excited and, and bring really good energy. So that's, that's what our week will look like. That's a great answer. And the last one for you is looking a little bit ahead. I know this isn't something that you guys like to do very often, but Atlanta has pretty much held that top spot in the Eastern Conference for a lot of the season. And you all have beat them twice. You beat them on the road and at home. And if you all win your match, then you will be heading to the Eastern Conference Finals. Atlanta will host that. So what have been the keys to success against that team that is so good? We prepared really well those weeks when we played Atlanta, for sure. Um, again, they're a really good side. It's not something we, I know it's a bit a little bit cliche, but we, we, we just haven't looked past this week. We really haven't. I mean, we, we need to get this one right anyway. Um, and the other thing we, we know too is um, when it comes to playoff rugby, um, what's happened through the season really just doesn't count for anything. You know, um, it's it's in that moment and um, that 80 minutes. So, um, you know, we, we see this one this weekend as a, as a playoff, as a quarterfinal. Um, if we're good enough to get the job done, then we'll have a look um, at, at the following week, at which which looks like it's going to be Atlanta at this stage. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at that. I'll have a chat to you next week and I'll tell you what our focus is then. Eh? I love your optimism. I love the passion. There's no doubt about it. You're putting me in my place <laughs> and I will take it. That is totally fine. Uh, you are doing a great job of answering these very tough questions. I am ready for some bonus points. Are you ready for some bonus points? Bonus points. I love bonus points. 
So number one is, has there been a song, a quote, or some kind of mantra that Rooney has taken this year and used as some sort of rallying cry? Oh, I don't know about rallying cry, but um, we, um, you know, we live in a pretty unique city. You know, New York is um, an incredible place, and there's been a lot of incredible people that have been here before us that have helped build it. So um, we, you know, we, we talk about it, we refer sometimes as um, being, being part of that and, and, and adding to that sort of legacy here or, or changing the skyline of New York as well. So that's something we go in and we, we strive to do. Um, yeah, that's probably is, yeah. We, there's a few songs and stuff like that, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I need the boys around me to sing them, you know. <laughs> How about this? If New York wins this weekend, we will get the boys to sing the songs. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a fair shot. So you mentioned New York. New York's a tough place just in general. It's gritty and I think there's an intimidation factor. So give me two words to describe the atmosphere when you all are playing on your home turf. You, you, you touched on it, you know, we, because um, we, we're connected to the city, there is, there's, there's a lot of hustle and um, there's grit, there's New York minutes, um, but there's also swagger, you know, so you can kind of get this really cool mix. Um, when we, when we play at home, um, our, our fans are always really supportive. They're loud. We love it. Um, look up. There's, there's, you know, you can always see the families of, of our team, of the players, wives, and girlfriends, and the kids and everything up there too. So that's always, it's always really special and inspiring. Um, and then a lot of, a lot, a lot of long-term fans too that, are, that, that come in week in, week out. So, um, and they're always very loud. Yeah, we can, we can usually hear what they have to say whenever there's a break in play. So. We're pretty lucky with our, with our fan group. No doubt about it. A big one this weekend. My last one for you is an X factor. Who's the guy on your team? Or maybe it's on your coaching staff, or maybe it's a fan. Who's the person who gives you guys that little extra oomph, so to speak? Oh, probably Dan Holland's head. Um, he's a bit of an awkward sort of guy, but um, we... <laughs> We call him Horse, and he um, he comes into the room, and and his nickname for everyone else is Horse. He just calls everyone Horse, and so now his name is naturally Horse. Um, but you know, he's he's one of those sort of cheeky first guys. He's always got something to say. He's got a good relationship with everyone in the team, and you just see him work his way around the group, just just talking bollocks, really. Um, but um, has a wee giggle, and and is often a little bit awkward with it. So now he's he's probably my go-to there. <laughs> That's one of my favorite answers of the entire year. And I did lie to you. I, I do have one more. When you look at your season as a whole, the big picture, what are you most proud of? Man, like our group, there's just, everyone should just be so proud of themselves. Like, man, we've, we've had to go through so much here with COVID and um, when our group arrived in here. There was snow everywhere. So we had to, we had to shovel our ground, you know, to, to be able to train. Um, and, and, you know, there's nothing, nothing's come easy for us this year, but yet the group's still like they smile and there's always music playing, and um, there's just a lot of love and good energy in the room and in the group. And it's, it's yeah, it, it's cool. So, no, look, the, the whole club should be really proud of the, the effort that they've put in so far to get us up to this position. Um, like I say, this is where we'll, we'll really see some some true New York grit and swagger um, over these next couple of weeks. It's exciting. Andy Ellis, it has been a pleasure to get to catch up with you. I want to wish you the best of luck this weekend and the rest of the season, whatever else happens in your future. But I do appreciate you giving us a little time ahead of a big weekend for you all against New Orleans at home. That's 2 p.m. Eastern. Rooney, New Orleans. Thank you so much, Andy. Good on you, Danny. Anytime, champ.